in the future, we are collecting Zero's body parts, and I promise you, it's not creepy. <laughs> Welcome back, Space Cadets, to Hal and Dave's trip to Jupiter. We're back at Mega Man X2, and can we face the four Mavericks and get our buddy Zero back so we can have nice drinks with him and talk about our, our relationship troubles as we go on in life? <laughs> Man, Zero is the expert on Reploid relationship troubles. We're actually going back to Bubblecrab stage, having just gotten his weapon, and there's a real specific reason for that. Well, I wonder what it could it be? So, well, for one, we get another extra life out of this, which is fabulous. But also, we're going to go down here. Man, it, it, Th this game is a lot harder to optimize than the first game because the the order in which you get different abilities kind of messes up how quickly you can get certain, like, sub-tanks and stuff. So we're going to destroy this fish again because he's really just in our way. If you take out the head... He goes down pretty hard. He just he just dies. Well, we're, we're actually going to go right here. So, if uh, Silk Shot is the shotgun ice of this game, I want to say that Bubble Shot is actually the fire wave of this game. Oh. In that it fires repeatedly until you charge up, but it has a very unique ability once we're charged up, is that you float in water. Oh, cool. So I'm trying to get... Yeah. You got to time it with the, the platforms here till you get up here where you can find the heart tank. Ah, of course. <laughs> but you, you jump extra high when that bubble shield is around you in water. Alright. Neat. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a neat trait. So we're actually going to use it one more time in this level. Mm. Because there, there's two secrets in this level that we missed on the first way through. Okay, fair enough. And I guess we needed that to get both of them. We, we do. That, that's partly why I'm a little bit like frustrated with this game. Oh yeah, watch. We have to keep firing to charge up. Okay, we're charged? Yeah. Now, check this action out. We're going to jump up here, and you can basically jump off the surface of the water for that last time oh. to get that energy tank. Nice. And we are up to our first tank. Woo! Now, I know where everything is in this game, it's just that I haven't quite figured out, you know, the, the fastest way with the minimum amount of backtracking to figure this game out. Man, Although, that... my path actually seems to always coincide, like, I don't know what programming is behind the X-Hunter's movements, but it always seems to coincide with the X-Hunter's on certain stages. So, next up is Volcanic Zone, Flame Stag. Woo! And don't take that out of context. Eh, eh, eh. He's a very flaming flame stag. stag. I got him, I do like the fire ears. He's hot. He's sexy. He flames you online. He uh, he is the ultimate troll. He is troll. a stag. He's, we're gonna go. We're gonna have ourselves a little stag party. Uh, and now, no, okay. Oh so. god, I Ooh, love that beetle oh, robot. Yeah. It's like a hair across. I love it. Yeah. Well, that that uh, beetle bard has destroyed itself, unfortunately. Well, it was a very big bad beetle board, you know. <laughs> yeah. So we got to move fast. Um, in fact, lava is rising. Oh god, that was one of those live traps, wasn't it? We gotta get the heart tank, and we gotta get out of here. <laughs> gotta move, yeah. Gotta move quick. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna come here, big bad beetleborg. Uh, uh -huh. Right here, yeah. Okay, so uh, go big beetle bad beetleborg. beetleborg. Yeah, break it. Yeah. All right, so we had to have him destroy that so we could get up here because the next X hunter fight is right here. Fair. And Sergus. Uh. He's a green... I'm Sergus, and I cannot allow you to stop the unification. Oh, so, uh... He's a green for the goblin of... Mega Man villain. Again, like, he's like the... He's the mastermind of this. <laughs> what was that? Uh, he's also a, uh... I don't know. My brother and I had a joke about this where he was... Uh, the X-Hunters were a Russian pirate gorilla, or an RPG. Uh, I, I have so many questions, but I don't I, think... I have more questions, yeah. Uh, this guy's actually fairly tough when you don't have his weakness, because he keeps jumping around, doing his moves. He just spams. Yeah, I don't think we have any move that's good against him. Well, you know, you have your buster. I really tr hope to bust him. 
You're busting. Busting makes you feel good, man. The, the problem is, he, he keeps leaving these mines on the ground, which make it all the harder to hit him. Well, it doesn't hurt. Well, the angle... angle I'm sure, like, some speedrunner has him, like, down to a pad where it's just, like... Oh, collision damage. As you can see, he, we died again. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh... Because I believe he's actually weak to the speed burner, which is... Flame stags maneuver. Come on, right here, Beetle. No, down here. Down no! Here. Down here, Beetleborg. Fail me again. And those Beetleborgs, they don't know. Yeah, what's... I, uh, the, the first Beetleborg actually destroyed itself before I could grab a certain secret in this level, too, so. What or, secret? Uh, it's just an energy tank. Okay. But you have to kind of, like, ride that Beetleborg to victory. Ride the Beetleborg. Yeah, unlike Saban. They didn't ride the Beetleborgs. Uh, well, they didn't have any footage left after Beetleborgs Metallics. Because the footage they could have gotten wouldn't be good for American oh, audience. I thought he was going to jump. If you ever wanted to... The Metal Heroes is a fascinating franchise. But, no, but nah. Uh, because, alright. So, so he puts his shield up every time you fire. Oh, damn. I can see So that. it's kind of like... A, a tricky situation. Like, you can see, whenever he puts his shield up is when I'm holding down the Y button. I can tell, yeah. So, it's like a tricky little... Yeah. I don't know. It feels, like, a little less fair. Like, it reminds me of some of the Street Fighter stuff that Capcom was pumping out around the time. Got him. Yeah. He, he, he. <laughs> the, the reactive AI. You yep. merely delayed the inevitable. We will meet again. Well, uh, let's see what part we get. So, we got uh, zero part number one. His head. So, yep. Uh, we, we have yeah. zero's head. So, they, they were like, uh, it'd be hard to activate zero without the control ship. And this platform is nice enough to take us over here. And so, so we're going to activate the bubble splash shield. And climb this part. This is interesting because these are clearly gas vents. And the little, like, firebug creatures... I don't know, they're almost flying squirrels. <laughs> flying squirrel, squirrel robots they're with flaming flying tails. They're flying squirrels. They, they activate the flame jets and ignite them, and that's kind of a neat detail. It takes me back to, like, Mega Man X1, where they had so many layers of detail. There seems to be... So we're going to switch off of that and switch back onto it, because this is Flame Stag's weakness weapon. Well, of course. Yeah, he's weak to Bubble Splash. Well, someone has to. So he's hanging out in his power reactor in the volcano. Yo, man! And I love that his antlers are made of flames. That's a cool detail. Like, uh... Like, I always enjoy when, like, they have, like, little details on their character design like that. I mean, he's got a little bit of Spark Mandrel Syndrome going on because he kind of resets his pattern every time I hit him. So he basically is just like, you just gotta repeat until he's dead. Actually, I'm gonna be a good sport and uh, switch off this weapon. No, don't be a good sport. What? Oh, <laughs> because he's got shoryukens. He's uh, he has a little more bit more than the shoryukens. Jeez, I'm just impressed. Like the speed on him is really amazing. Go jump and shoot, man! Got him. He's dead forever. Until yeah, the, the this sort of is a portend for what happens later in the X series, where there's definitely a lot of Mavericks that suffer from Spark Mandrel Spark Mandrel Syndrome later on. Well, it's unfortunate. I think maybe they do that for a reason of just emphasizing that weapons do matter. Yeah. I mean, when you get to something like the... God, that is ungodly red. <laughs> Speed burner. Not quite fire wave, but we'll take it. Speed burner. It, it, it sounds like a terrible Simpsons character. All right, let's fiction. take a look at where they landed this time. Uh... In health? All right, the weather control stage. So we actually want to do this one. Yeah. Because although we want something in 
flame stag stage, we do want to go to wire sponge stage. Right. Weather control stage, wire sponge. Wire sponge. This is the first time that they have like just. It's not really an animal. I, I guess it's not a vegetable either, but it's a sponge. It's a creature. SpongeBob Square Maverick. Oh God. <laughs> How many Spongebob memes can we fill into one episode? So, uh, the heart tank is really cleverly hidden, uh, right here. <laughs> well, uh, at least you found him. Yeah, like, <laughs> this, I don't know, this game just doesn't feel nearly... Okay, so this is interesting, though. So if we hit this weather control device with the bubble splash, it becomes rain. If we hit it with the speed burner, it becomes sun. That's cool. I think that's all we have right now that can affect it. I know the uh, Crystal Snail is the boss in this game that lets us affect it with uh, fog. <laughs> crystal Snail. Crystal Snail, I know, that's the thing. So if we just go ahead and... Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Sonic Selection's not going to do anything. So, Speed Burner. We will make it Sunlight, because as far as I know, Sunlight is the most neutral you can get it. And this level has a very easy extra life and energy tank to get. Someone changed the weather back on us. I don't know who. Sigma! But yeah, the energy tank just sits right up there. But so this elevator goes up, but we want to go down to the next X Hunter. And once we have all of Zero's parts, we can stop worrying about these guys. Fair. So it's agile. Wow. He's the fast one. I, I I can't tell with a name like oh, Agile. Right. Um, he was weak to something. I don't know. I'm going to try using Sonic Slicer on him. Not Sonic Slicer. What was it? Da, da, da. Not Speed Burner. I was playing around the other day and I was like, he's weak to more than one weapon. Not that one, though. It's Magnet Mine, apparently. Uh, I know he's weak to Magnet Mine, but there's like one other that was effective against him. I gotta admit, I do love his design. Uh, yeah, he, he's the cool sword dude. Well, he's the cool, like, purple sword uh, zero. He, and he hits, like, a truck, too. He hits, like, a truck with a sword attached to it. Uh, well, he's agile, clearly. He's the most badass motherfucker in Mega Man. Uh, and he never shows up after this game. I uh, know, yeah. Well, that's part of my thing, is that, like, Mega Man X 4 through 6 introduced ideas that would be, like, way more important to the series. I can see that. Got Admittedly, it feels so like X that, that full charge shot from your second arm really does a, a lot of splash damage. Well, to be fair, you'll never live to see zero. Yeah, like I, I see how the the ideas were forming here, but they become fully formed come like X four. Well, this feels more like an expansion pack to one. Uh, I mean, it's a ROM hack. <laughs> it's literally what it is, considering uh, what it is. Because you have like the same sprites, the same game engine. Yeah, get out of here, old bastards. Uh, oh, so right, this doesn't... So Silk Shot is really weak in this level because it's accumulating grass and leaves. <laughs> wow. That, that's why my attack failed, though, by the way. <laughs> because I was shooting leaves at them. So Silk, Silk Shot's power varies based on the level you're in. That's that's amazingly uh, awful. It, it is. You know, I, I thought maybe for a second I sucked, and then I realized that no, it was not I that sucked. It was the weapon that I was chosen had sucked. <laughs> that's kind of bad. I kind of like... Man, this game feels like it's trying to troll the Mega Man X1 players. It, it kind of is. It, it definitely, like, nowhere near as precisely polished as the first game. It, it, that makes me very sad because the first game was just so good out of the gate. And it's like, why, why would the sequel not live up to that? Well, 
yeah, this was... I mean, I, I could go off on a massive tangent once we get to X3 that, like, that game just was the absolute most, like, we have to make a sequel, let's phone it in game. Fair, fair, fair. But, uh, you know, th this game's still got some neat elements to it. And the, the gameplay throughout all of these is solid. Really, the because every time they make a, like a Mega Man X series, it's based on solid foundation. Yeah. You know, like here it's based on X1, which had a very solid foundation. And then like the PlayStation series is based on X4, which is also a really solid foundation. So they always are really good until you get to like X7, where the, the game engine itself had to be scrapped by the time they made the sequel. Oh god, that thing was. A dead. Hey, what's up, Wire Sponge? That was the first. You're not an animal. That was the first bad game I, I don't, ever. I don't accept you as an animal. Uh, let me check. Uh, are sponges animals? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if sponges are considered animals. I don't accept you as an animal. So this guy has two weaknesses, by the way. He has speed burner and sonic slicer. And we're actually gonna focus on sonic slicer because it disrupts his uh, chain combos. Yeah, sponges are animals. Yeah, yeah, they're like a colony. Whatever. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, it's cool. Like, hey, you know, like, you're wrong. You should accept that. Look, when they have the Mega Man game where all the creatures are based on vegetables, we can be mad about tomato. I'm, I'm, I'd be horrified. No, dude, I'm already mad about the onion. I hate onions. <laughs> Like, you just are, like, three prepared. <laughs> okay, check this out. So if you actually defeat him with Sonic Slicer, this happens. Oh. He splits in half! Okay, that's a nice detail. <laughs> the little anime, like, he got cut down to size. Man, that should be a, a tactic you should have done, like, close up, and it's just like... Omae wa shinderu! Da -da -da. I, I really hope they uh, localize the Yakuza Fist and North Star game. Hotoko <laughs> guy got to go. Yes, I want that. Just if only to play. So you got strike chain. If only to play Kinshiro as a bartender. So check this out. Now I can try to reactivate Zero to help, but I need more time. I'm old as fuck. <laughs> uh, does Zero do anything in the game if he? So this will change the ending now that we have all of Zero's parts. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that later at the end of the uh, X Hunter stages. Alright, I just was wondering. Uh, until now, we have two more Mavericks to defeat. Next time on Hal and Dave's Trip to Jupiter. Maverick!